it's been a while since i dropped a video was just out a bit working on a documentary series which i'm done so yeah back to youtube at the moment i'm writing on two videos both are card design softwares solidworks and siemens nx if you are into in-depth filmmaking and animation tips kindly stick around it's going to be fun okay so over the weekend a subscriber sent me a video and asked me to review it so he could pick a clue from the review apparently he's also working on a short video which is similar to the one he sent me and i'm sure whatever that he's about to shoot was inspired by the video i'm just about to review so he wants my unbiased opinion before he gets on the ground it's the african version of marvel sony's spider-man without wasting any more time let's Okay, let's get right into the video. It's a super clash between Mortal Kombat and Spider-Man lovers. This is going to be good. Wow, you look good today. But you know what? Smoking is not good for your health. I know where that's coming from. So Jack over here was just about celebrating when Spider-Man from nowhere just swooped in to ruin the whole show. Now Jax is pissed off. If you've played Mortal Kombat before, you should know Jax and Weed are brothers. Cool intro. Yo, Spider-Man. I have from Phil's business. Video. Hey, wait, but I'm not your business partner. No way! No, 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 wait. I I'm not here to fight. I came in peace. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh dear. Okay, a few things to correct here. Number one is going to be location. The choice of location wasn't good. I wouldn't speak on green or blue screen in this very instance because that would have required a lot of post production work. I would totally disagree with anyone who says this was the best location they could find. I mean, you shouldn't struggle finding a decent location for content like this um, in a country like Ghana. This particular sequence would have been great if it were shot in a rejected or dejected vehicle site, factory site, beautiful vegetations tree forests, design warehouses, and other interesting places. Ghana is a very beautiful place. It's smaller towns and villages. Looks really awesome. You just can't get it wrong when it comes to finding a better location in Ghana for scenes like this. I think they could have scouted for a better place if they had given the location more attention other than just picking up the camera to shoot by the roadside. You could see the dude pass by looking very depressed not good aside a good environment to help give off the mortal Kombat vibes spider-man takes you into the city of new york a complete ground up cgi built city with tall buildings and other supporting bricks which are both placed low and high to help him swing anywhere anytime this isn't the case here and i'm not sure if they looked at that and even if they did the question is do they have the software and even if they had the software do they have the skills to pull a whole city up right besides building a whole city from scratch would have made the whole production process a bit complicated in this particular instance so basically the choice of location should have been very crucial on their list number two is going to be color theory i'm not sure if they really paid attention to that the mood and feel of a scene contributes greatly to your story it doesn't mean your story will be good but color has a way of getting people hooked to a scene without them knowing why they are still watching even though the story might be bad 
and i've watched a lot of movies that had me hooked up even though the stories weren't good roger dickens once said it's easier to make color look good but harder to make it service the story the color didn't look good here but i'm sure they are doing their homework so subsequent videos should be good another problem with the color theory had to do with the profile and grading this wasn't shot on a raw or log and for the colors to be graded instead of simple correction was so unfortunate if you are a lover of color grading then you should be targeting a decent color based log or raw file Best advice for upcoming filmmakers with low budget, keep it simple and practical. Don't try to do too much, especially if you know your strength. Consider the budget and skill set available before you begin with the film process. If you seriously want to get into practical VFX, I would suggest you check out cinematographer Roger Deakins and Christopher Nolan. There are a lot of people to learn from, but these are my hot picks. Also, if you want to get serious with your VFX, then I will strongly suggest you take a course or learn from a professional you know. Just help them out on set. Be their assistant editor. It doesn't get better living in the comfort of your home and experimenting on a couple of YouTube videos. YouTube does help a lot, but you miss out on a lot of important details. I hear a lot of dudes all over the place advising people not to apply for a film school, and that is mostly because you can simply take a course online. The thing is, what works for you might not work for everyone, so let's leave the options open so people could choose. The options should be explained really well for the viewers so they would know what they are really getting into, know what works for you and go in for it. The action was really choreographed well, it's dope. This particular effect looks unfinished. I think it could have been more awesome if they had... Um, those particles seem to have been generated from after effect looks very 2d if you are on a low budget and you really want to compose it on a more advanced level you should be looking at either blender or the free version of black magic fusion blender being a complete suit will be much better in situations like this it would allow you generate your particles from scratch refine it and composite them into your shots immediately i think that's more easier and it's also easier to access since it's completely free this is a shot made by Akomid, and it was made entirely in blender awesome right and this isn't hard to achieve you just need the skills and you'll be good like i said if you really want to get into 2d 3d animation or vfx take a course it's very important
Jax. So, do you still want to do business? Shut up! Don't use the F word, piece of watch. Fight sequence such as this would demand a lot of movement and so some of the good things you can consider is at least lock your ISO aperture and shutter speed. There are so many options on a mirrorless camera that allows you to do that but it seems this was shot on a DSLR simply by looking at the poor dynamic range. Yeah, this seems like an old DSLR camera. The ISO doesn't seem to be locked you can see a change all over the place and uh, that isn't too okay and the focus hmm it's okay if that's how far the camera could go since the budget i'm sure couldn't cater for a more advanced camera a complete manual mode on a sequence like this will require some additional external rigs other than that the camera in use would have to be super smooth and smart in its focus game the punches combined with the hair slabs were totally awesome and that fast movement from Jax was dope. Like I said in the beginning, the action sequence was great thanks to Jax losing his weed. Now to my final take, always work within your strength when shooting a low to no budget film. Don't try to do too much or try to prove anything. I think trying to prove you know a lot are most beginners sickness. It's not cool, just keep it simple. Push the camera to its limit. Find someone who knows how to get the camera settings in check to stick around if the operator isn't good at um, knowing his way around the camera. I personally feel the sequence was shot without paying attention to any detail. I'm sure they had dudes who were willing to act, so they thought, why not shoot something, right? It's good to break rules, but not in this way. The time of the day was awesome. Natural light should have been put to good use, which they did not. Color wasn't looked at. It's so uncool. I feel a better color could have contributed to shaping the story a bit better. Actors were cool, except the conversation. Most of the action conversations were so not needed. Also, the background sound was a bit too much for some of the shots. Action sequences such as these shouldn't be shot on a lower frame rate. Now looking at most of the slow motions and how distorted they were, I'm guessing the slow motion was either shot in 30 or 24, yet they pulled a lot of slow motions out of it and later on set, they set the time interpolation to optical flow, which is a big sin. But this is how most people begin, right? It's, it's mostly not cool in the beginning, but as time goes on, with due diligence and consistency, it will get better. It will get better, trust me. Back to the guy who sent me this. I hope this helps. If you need any extra information on how best to film on a low to no budget, kindly feel free to email me again. Until my next video, peace out.